Moving on, we will now calculate the AB difference or the O2 content difference, also known as the ABDO2. Um, this is found in your OAKS on page 9-6. And so the way that you calculate it is that you take the arterial content of oxygen and you subtract the venous content of oxygen to get the difference between them. So using fairly normal values for both of these, um, which we calculated earlier, we can plug them in to see what we will get for um, a normal AB content difference. So 20 minus 15 is going to be equal to 5 uh, volumes per cent, um, which is essentially the normal um, ABDO2 um, if you if you look in your um, if you look in your oaks then you'll see that that's uh, approximately what it is so now I'm going to use the um, arterial and venous content that we calculated in the um, previous um, video to calculate a representative AD content difference using um, more typical values with an actual patient. So to do that, I plug in my values of 16.62 and 12.47 and subtract those. And I come up with a difference of 4.15. Uh, and that is in um, volumes per cent or grams per deciliter as um, previously discussed. So this is what we get when we calculate it when we're given the arterial content and the venous content, but more typically, just like with the AA gradient, um, you're not going to be given just those two. You're going to be given all the values that go into them, and you'll have to calculate first arterial, then venous, and then the, then the, then the difference. So let's go through that. Blanking everything else out and um, putting my formula back like this and then taking the arterial and the venous content separately and putting them in um, um, so that they can be calculated first. So putting in the formulas for arterial content and venous content, you can see them here. And then I have to take this one for arterial and calculate it first, calculate the one for venous, and then subtract them from each other. So first I'll get some values to plug in to do this equation. So I'll start out, as usual, by writing out the formulas first, and then plugging values in, starting with the arterial content first. So plugging these in, then I get 12.8 times 1.34 times 0.93, and then 79 times 0 0.003. And carrying out the math for that, I get 15.95 plus 0.237, and then adding those together, I get an O2 content arterial of 16.19 volumes per cent. I'm putting that in red so that when I go down to do the venous and subtract them, it'll be clear which is which. So moving on to the venous now, um, I multiply my hemoglobin of 12.8 times 1.34 times 0.69 for the venous saturation, and then add the arterial saturation of, or excuse me, the venous saturation of 31 times 0 0.003, and then I um, calculate uh, those, and I get 11.83 plus 0 0.093, and then adding those together, I get a venous content of 11.93 volumes per cent. So now I calculate the AV content difference by subtracting the 16.19 arterial, subtracting the venous of 11.93 from that. So there's my formula, and then plugging in my results from above, I subtract 11.93 from 16.19, and I get a result of 4.26 volumes per cent. So when you're going to calculate the um, uh, AB content difference, 
uh, generally you're going to do it by getting values for uh, calculating each of them individually and then doing that to come up with the first arterial and then venous content and then subtracting them to get your result.